Kim, thank you. It is 633 and come 10 a.m. Students here in Metro Detroit will join students all across the country in a nationwide walkout. Yes, and this comes one month to the day after that deadly school shooting down in Parkland, Florida. Today's demonstration will honor the 17 students and staff that were killed that day. And as Nick Monticelli shows us, today's demonstration is also a call for action. Well, good morning to you. This hashtag enough movement really is going to be different depending on where you're looking at it. Here at Cass Tech, about 2,400 students are going to walk out with the help of parents and teachers leaving this building. But while this is happening all over the country and all over Metro Detroit, how it's happening is different depending on which school the students are in. So our plan is to walk out in hopes of it never happening to us and never happening to another school again. If you listen carefully, what you'll hear from every student participating in this national walkout is a forceful call for change. The group behind the walkout is the Women's March Youth Empower program. It'll happen at 10 a.m., lasting 17 minutes for the 17 victims in Parkland. The students are the ones bringing the strength in numbers. 2,400 students are expected to walk out at Cass Tech, each of them with their own opinion. We actually feel that lawmakers need to make a decision on if they are going uh, to let teachers uh, be armed inside school or are they going to say no. A round robin around Metro Detroit shows each district is handling today differently. Lance Cruz East sent a letter home saying in honor of the 17 victims of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, the students and staff of Lons Cruz Middle School East support the student-led and designed We Walk Up, Not Out campaign, encouraging students to engage this conversation with kids they don't know. Students at Gross Point North's High School paper wrote an editorial saying they're not participating because the administration took over writing the event taking place Wednesday is not a student-led protest for gun control. At Novi, students have thought carefully about why they are walking out. Brendan says it's because the conversation is finally happening, 19 years after the shooting in Columbine. It's been 19 years and there's been very little done to like actually try to prevent this from happening again. Like we just you know, we mourn, we move on, it happens again, we mourn, we move on, and it's just a sick, it's just a cycle. And I should note that some districts, or at least schools, are going as far on the opposite side of things to say if their students do partake in this, they could face suspension or even expulsion. In downtown Detroit, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today.